Yeah? Is Ralph there? Who wants him? Look, is he there or isn't he? Who is it? Somebody for you. Put some clothes on, will you? How many times I have to tell you about running around the house half-dressed? But it's half-term. What's that got to do with it? Go on, move. <sighs> yeah, hello. Hello. So today's the day then, right? So you got the number. The minute he makes like he's gonna drag his ill-gotten gains off to the bank, you give us a ring, right? Look, I know what to do. I said I'd do it, I'll do it. And after this, that's it. So you just sit there and wait for me to ring you. Look, today's the day Rasputin goes to the bank, right? Correct. So we can't put off telling him any longer. Well, what about the promise we made to Rose? Only that was before, wasn't it? Before what? Old Ralphie decided to go back to being a highwayman or yeah. something. We yeah. don't know that he has. Of course we do. You know what he said. He didn't actually say he would help him. Only he didn't say he wouldn't, neither, did look, he? Mads is dead, right? Look, listen, I know what we said to Rose and all that business, but really we've got no choice but to warn Rasputin about what's going on. And Rose's mom, what about her? Well, what about that? Face it, it's not going to be the first time that he's turned out to be bad news for her. Yeah. Where's Rasputin, it was? He's uh, due any minute now, I should think. Why, going to take him off then, are we? Yeah, we are, yeah. Glad to hear it, because if you hadn't been, I was going to. Mm. Where's Ralph, then? Now, there's another funny thing. What do you mean? Oh, he hasn't turned up either yet. No, I'm fine. Do you like it? What? Working down at our space. It's all right. Thought you liked it. I said it was all right. I think Rasputin's dead nice, really. I mean, I know he comes the old hard case most of the time, but underneath all that, Get on all right with him, don't you? Oh, yeah. Any day now, we're thinking of getting engaged. Bet your dad chuffed to tuck you on down there, though, eh? I'm very grateful, yeah. I mean, what more could a man ask of life, eh? Be allowed to stand around there all day, answering stupid questions from stupid kids, listening to them machines yakkering away all the time, and all them lights, giving you a right flaming headache by four. Yeah, it's the sort of job I've been looking for all my life, really. It's terrific. Well, of course the fans have been giving us some stick, Georgie, and rightly so. We were rubbish on Saturday, weren't we, mate? Me personally. 
Yeah, well, I do seem to remember the odd missile did sort of whistle past my left ear as I was leaving the bench, yeah. That's what management's all about, ain't it, mate? What was it that other famous football manager once said? If you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. Yeah, well, of course you've had a few letters suggesting I resign. We all know the sort of nutters that write to newspapers, don't we? Yeah, I've got a comment for you, son. Tell them from me they're entitled to their opinion as I'm entitled to mine, all right? the second cup of tea when I came out. Flipping it, what's the idea? I don't know. Listen, you haven't said anything to Rasputin yet, have you? Not yet, no. You're not going to, are you? Oh, come well, on, yeah. Rose, what do you think? Mm. Well, you promised. Rose, I'm sorry, but you know as well as I do, we can't just stand back and let it all happen. Don't I'm it. sorry, but the minute Rasputin gets here, that's it. Yeah. So then, before you do, let me talk to Ralph about it. And say what? That we know all about it, so lay off. But what if he says no? He mm. won't. Well, of course he won't. Not if he knows that we're on to him. Please. Cheer up, you lot. Can't be that bad, can it? Look, I'll talk to him as soon as it gets here, all right? So what do you think then, Harry? Rasputin Jones. Who's that? Sorry, wrong number. You never guess who that was. It's Buff. Yeah. What the hell that Nurk Ruff's playing at? Why didn't he give us a ring? I don't know, Jake. I'll tell you what. Let's go ask him, shall we? <laughs> Just off to the bank. I'll be back in about ten minutes, all right? Okay. Looks like a false alarm, then. I told you it'd be all right, didn't I? Hang on, wait a minute. What if they've changed their plans and they're out there now waiting for him? Come on! Got a mug, day, thanks to our speedy and timely intervention. Spot of change, was it? You wanted then? So where is he then? Ralph Lewis. Good question, you tell me. What do you mean? Well, we haven't seen him all morning. Mr. Jones, he's in, is he? Missed him, mate. He went to the bank. Any message, was there? Okay. You don't think they're going after Rasputin, do you? No. I'll tell you what I do think now. What? I reckon Ralph's double-crossed them, which is why he never turned up for work this morning. Which is all very well, of course. Only rather him than me, mate, when those nutters get their hands on him. We should ring him, warn him. They're probably looking for him. Yeah, I reckon you're right. Come on. Yeah. Right. Give us a ring, all right. Okay. Right. 
down the back. Hang on a minute. What was that? Could be talking to him, I suppose, though, couldn't she? I think we should ring her. So do I. I'm going to ask you just once more, darling. Where is he? I told you. I don't know. And even if I did, I wouldn't tell you. Answer that. Go on, then. If it's him, you're poorly right. So can he come home quick, please? All right? And just watch it. Or else you really will be very poorly. Hello? Rose, it's me, Boxer. Oh, hello. What do you want? What do you mean, what do I want? Look. How many times do I have to tell you? I mean, do you want it in writing or what? Now, for the last time, I don't want to go out with you. All right? Hey, what she said? She just said she didn't want to go out with me. Well, she was obviously trying to tell you something, weren't she? Yeah, like she thought you had bad breath or something. Don't be stupid. Wurzel's right. She was trying to tell us that something was wrong. So what are we standing around here for? Let's get over there. Come on. Boy, where's, where's the fire then? to do. Shut up. You're wasting your time waiting, you know. Sometimes it's away for days. I said shut up. I'd like a word with you, Squire. Hang on a minute. Hang on, will you? Oh, come on, Mr. Jones. They're gonna need all the help they can get, aren't they? With what? These heavies. What heavies? Who's that? It's the milkman, isn't it? You owe for two weeks. Well, get the dog. Oh, it's you. Uh, uh, Ralph's lying down. Mate, I mean to do you a favour. What favour? Come to warn you, ain't I? Any minute now, the fuzz are going to be crawling all over this place. <laughs> what fuzz? The fuzz, my son. I've just called on my very own little car phone driving over here. You're bluffing. You reckon? I mean, it's a fuzz! Go! Oh! Watch it, you. Oh. Oh. oh, no, they haven't damaged the paintwork, have they? Hey, 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 hey. Where do you lot think you're going? We're going to see Rasputin, aren't we? Yes, well, you can't. Why not? Because you've got more important things to do with this time than waste it with you lot. But this is important. Yeah, yes. is it? Right, go on, out. Oh, here we go. Get out, Hello. come on, out. Looking for me, then, will we? Uh, yes, Miss Jones, we were. We wanted a word with you, actually. Good. Because I want quite a few words with you lot. Come in. Now then, shall I start or will you? No, I tell you what, why don't you start? 
Well? It's about Ralph, Mr. Jones. Good, because that's who I want to talk about. What about Ralph? We wondered what was going to happen to him. Well, it's certainly some kind of accessory, either before or after the fact, to my intended mugging. On the other hand, as it never actually happened, I suppose he's in the clear, at least as far as the law is concerned. Yeah, but what about his job? Well, what about his job? Are you sacking him or not? None of your business. Only we think you'd be dead rotten if you did. Oh, you do, do you? Yeah, well, he did save you from a real good hiding. Mm. Oh, yeah, and how'd you work that one out then? Well, Mr Jones, if he hadn't decided to stop at home that morning and screw everything up for him, well, I mean, you could have been splattered all over the alley by this time, couldn't you? Covered in blood. Yeah. That is true, I suppose. On the other hand, there is something he could have done, isn't there, as my good and faithful servant, like, come to me in the first place and warn me I was being set up for a muggy. Only he couldn't do that, could he? Well, of course he couldn't, my darling, because if he had, he would have had to have mentioned something else he conveniently forgot to mention. Like the fact he'd just come out of Nick after doing six months for thieving. So are you going to sack him then, Mr Jones? Is that what you're saying? What I am saying, my son, is it's none of your flaming business. Hang on. That's what you wanted to talk about. What we haven't done yet is what I want to talk about. Now, I take it I'm right in saying that you lot knew about this little caper at least a couple of days ago, right? I suppose so. Did you or didn't you? Yeah, well, we could hardly say anything to you then, though, could we? Oh, how's that? We promised. Promised who? Rose's mum. So she knew about it as well, then, did she? Mr Jones, it's a long story, ain't it? Look, we'd have never let it happen to no. you. Well, thanks a bunch, son. We was going to warn you that morning. Only, well, when Ralph never turned up, it, it wasn't necessary then, was it? I suppose it wasn't, no. On the other hand, it might have been, mightn't it? So, like I say, thanks a lot, kids. Great. All right, let's leave it there. Jones, here's the rough copy for Saturday's program. Oh, all right. Thanks. There's nothing quite so disappointing, is there, than being let down by those one has trusted. Been listening at keyholes again then, have we, Derek? Uh, no, the, uh, the door was ajar, Mr Jones. One couldn't help but overhear. Really? And may I say how absolutely right I think you are in the stand that you're taking about this... Uh, Hello. Stan? Well, in deciding to get rid of him. No, 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 I think far too much nonsense is spoken these days about the rights of the criminal classes and so forth. You know, it may be an old truism, Mr. Jones, but I do think it's as true as ever it was. The leopard does not change its spots. No. Once a thief, always a thief. That's what I always say. That's what you always say, is it, Derek? Can I leave a message for him? It's from Mr. Jones. He's like to see him in his office at Dunmore right away, and I do mean immediately, if that's convenient. I'll tell him. Mission accomplished, Derek. He's on his way, Mr. Jones. Thanks, love. Come in. Aha, talk of the devil. We were just chatting about you, weren't we, Derek? Yes, right, well, uh, better be on my way. Excuse me. You wanted to see me? Yes, I did. Sit down. Just off, were we, Derek? Uh, yes, yes, actually, Mr. Jones. Oh, good. Well, close the other door as well, will you? On your way out. Right. You have exactly two minutes to give me one good reason why I shouldn't sack you here and now. And before you start, 
I feel I should point out that if it wasn't for Derek Cassidy, you wouldn't even be getting that chance. Cassidy? Oh, yes. Feels very strongly about people like you, does Derek. So strongly, in fact, he felt he just had to come to me and talk about it. He doesn't even know me. Little details like that don't bother Derek, mate. No, I'm telling you. You'd be amazed at how much good he's done for your chances just by sticking his oar in. What do you think? She laid it right on the lines for him this time. One more thing like that. She's off and me with her. I wonder what made old Rasputin change his mind. I mean, when he found out, he was livid. Mm, well, I tell you what, mate, it certainly wasn't anything we said to him, was it? I mean, he sent us off with a right flea now here, didn't he, eh? Yeah, yeah. Well, that was the funny thing, actually. What do you mean? Well, according to what Rasputin said to Ralph, it was Cassidy who swung it. Cassidy? Yeah, something Cassidy said to him is definitely what did it. Blimey! Hey, listen. There's something funny going on, I reckon. Like what? Well, I've just come past Mac Murphy's house, right? Yeah, you mean Mac Murphy's old house, don't you? Yeah, well, that's what I mean. There's someone in there now. New owners, of course. Yeah. yeah but hang on, wait a minute. What new owners? As far as I know, Mac's never actually put the place up for sale. I mean, he said he wasn't going to, not at least until he's got things sorted out in Australia anyway. Right. So who's in there now, hey? Uh, a bedroom window, you said? Yeah, that one there. Oh, well, there's no light on now. I can see that, but there definitely was. Look, are you sure you weren't mistaken? I mean, about which house it was. Look, I'm not stupid. Oh, you're not, are you? Don't you two ever shut up. Now, come on. Right, we're going to check around the back, see if there's any sign of a break-in, right? Now, you lot, keep your eyes on the front, see if anything's happening, OK? Right. It definitely was the one. You sure it was the next door that you saw? Look, I know what I saw. Seems secure enough. See, it must have been next door. It was not. Right. Come on, let's go. Hang on a minute. What now? I'm sure I saw the bedroom curtains move. <clears throat> Come on. Don't want it. 